GI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. <clears throat> so, they just released another update, another major update. Um, well, okay, it was a minor update, but it actually changed the number to Alpha 8.0.1. Ooh. <clears throat> and in order to get all the new content, I got to do a restart. Um, this time around, I think I'm going to, instead of doing the um, default random, I'm going to do the default Akua Omicron. <clears throat> uh, let's do hard settings. We'll just do the default hard. And everything's, yep, okay. Uh, seed one, fine, whatever. Actually, I don't want to do a Kua. We can do Talador. Talador. Let's do Talador. Sure. <clears throat> Sorry, my decongestants wore off. I, I took some more. They should be kicking in any minute. No. Won't be. I'll be able to breathe again. Uh, so, uh, whoops, let's do experimental update three, <coughs> excuse me, and alpha eight experimental update three. There we go. <coughs> okay. Uh, survival mode seed one. Sure. I've, I don't even think I... Didn't even know you could do a seed one, but sure, let's do it. Uh, difficulty star, Talador, let's go. Okay, so supposedly they fixed the drone <clears throat> and they made this default Akua Talador. They, they, they basically alpha aided it and, uh, and it's all ready for Alpha 8 testing. So that's basically what we're going to do right now. Um, I've had enough of the uh, uh, random solar system for now. Uh, we can get back to that later. That seems to be working. And they apparently they fixed a bunch of the issues. Um, <clears throat> namely with the, uh, the starter moon is no longer made out of silicone and cobalt. And I have a little video um, that I'll play at the end of this to show you what I'm talking about when, whoa, what, where are we? Well, let's just keep heading this direction. Uh, we're up in the mountains. So supposedly now we start with a bunch of gear on this scenario. <clears throat> but we don't get the Robson protocol, which is okay. I Oh, hey, come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bottle of water. See, now it starts you with a drill. So that's excellent. Let's put that there. And a survival constructor along with a ore scanner and a flashlight and some biofuel. <clears throat> Bandages and purify water. Okay. Uh, we are also wearing light armor, so we can handle temperatures of minus 10 to 45 Celsius. Okay, let's do this. I think we want to head towards the water and try and collect as much as we can. While we're doing that, let's make a survival tool. Uh... Oh, look at this. What is this? A green rock. A green rock. <clears throat> Maybe our drill will tell us what it is. We'll put it in the... No. Uh, rock drill. Rock resource copper. Okay. I'll definitely get these uh, rock resources. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the regular... These, oh, that's silicone. Well, we'll get that too. Okay. Good, good. We get fiber. Fiber is 
needed to make biofuel. <clears throat> now what I plan on doing is actually try and get a chainsaw pretty quick so I can go chop some trees. Oh. That was kind of disguise there, that silicone, eh? That's kind of trippy. Okay. Getting some resources right away. We're not getting any food though. We gotta get down into the lower into the lower areas, into the forest here. Is this iron? No, just large rock, but that looks like copper. Yep. Okay. Uh let's pick everything we can on the way. Now, this is on hard mode, all settings, so everything's going to affect me a lot worse. So the my food is going to run out faster. My um, Just absolutely everything's going to affect me worse. If I start getting too cold, it'll get too cold a lot faster. Oh, ooh, a deposit over there. Silicone, nice. Okay. <clears throat> Good start. Good start. Nice to find some Promethium. Although, with trees now able to give you biofuel, you can make a lot of biofuel. Uh, you could actually potentially run your entire operation off biofuel if you wanted by just going crazy and harvesting trees. It's It has that potential now. You can do that. So. I, I don't think Pentac or, um, Promethium is super critical anymore at the beginning. I think we might be able to survive on biofuel and even fuel up some vehicles with biofuel until we actually go find Promethium. Uh, in the meantime, we can collect all these resource rocks. Let's turn our jetpack on. And to get our three basic ores that we need to get started with. So, hmm, let's take a look at the map. Well, let's head over to the, we're gonna just keep going this direction. Yep, head over to the water and we'll pick and uh, smash on the way. So, I'm pretty excited, oh, let's, let's, Let's test the drone. Yeah, first. Oh, ho, ho, yes, we have a drone. Ah, that is so awesome. Okay. Good, good. Ooh, iron. Silicon and iron. All I need now is just copper to make the uh, trifecta of awesomeness. And let's try and get as much food as possible here. We're going to. Hopefully the water source is going to have a whole bunch of seaweed in it. I'm really banking on that because I, I don't know how much of this we're going to be able to harvest before we are down by the water anyway. So we'll just keep getting all these things. A village. Hmm. I don't even have a weapon. I don't feel like dealing with the with the uh, Talon Guardian's pets. The Talon Guardian, if it's still the same as it was before, so the Talon Guardians are the alien natives. And usually in the village they have pets of those bat dog things. And those bat dog things are nasty and they come after you and they can, um, they can like disease you and stuff from what I remember. So it's... It's not good to have that happen to you right off the bat, I think. So I think I'll avoid that as much as the temptation is to go there and loot it. I don't have a weapon, so... And I don't really have the resources to make a weapon yet. Although that could change pretty quick here as we, uh, as we start getting into some deposits here. <coughs> It's handy to ha find all these uh, resource rocks, too. Okay, so we've got silicone just right here. It's like right here. 
Okay. Might as well grab it then. Uh, well, let's drone it up. Since we got the drone now, I'm going to tab in, tab out to get my radar back. And then I'm going to select ground. And just go straight down. So what I'm hoping to accomplish is get enough resources to before I get out to the water so that I'll be able to spawn in an HV and make a small um, launch pad for it out in the water. So I should be able to find a shallow enough area to build on. The lakes aren't super deep anymore. Uh, there's just a lot of them. Actually, I'm curious. What's the, what's this? Okay, so this is planet size four. Okay, so this is gonna be full size. It's got promethium, iron, silicon, and copper. Okay. <clears throat> so for those of you that have played the uh, default multiplayer on single player, or played on multiplayer servers that was running the default multiplayer scenario. You might f be familiar, familiar with the old Talodar. Um, I actually did my server, Alpha 7 server start on Talodar last time. And that was pretty cool. It, um, obviously it's not like that now in the single player, but the, the multiplayer, you started with one of those pre-constructed bases that you kind of had to escape from. And then you couldn't really get back into it, so that was kind of trippy. It was like, uh, well, here you go, here's a little safe spot for now, but as soon as you leave, you're screwed. So, um, yeah, we, we found that to be a challenge right off the bat because we got into drone attack, base attack problems, and there was like, they were all large drones coming at us, and just, oh my, we didn't, we just, they were just nuking us. Just nuking our stupid little crappy hover boxes that we had. Uh, yeah, fun times, fun times. But we prevailed. We survived. So this time around, uh, we will not be firing up a base on the starter planet. So what I mean by firing up a base, I mean by like powering up a base. We're going to be living off vehicles. Like I was doing in my previous episodes with the with the um, random default start. The object is more exploration and I don't feel like sticking around on a starter planet making a base so we're going to put our efforts into actually making a cv base and i have a level five cv i can spawn in of course the reason it's level five is because it doesn't actually have any real cv parts on it other than you know like a constructor and, <laughs> and a generator and just basic base parts so the highest level block on it, I believe, is the armor locker, which is level five. So it's a level five base in a sense, uh, but it is a CV. It just has no cockpit, no thrusters, no R and no RCS, but they can be added later. So the, what I plan on doing with it is expanding it and turning it into a full-size mobile base, a, a, a real CV. Okay, how's this coming? We've got 141. Okay, let's just get a little bit more. Up to 150. Okay, one more. One more. There we go. Okay, so now let's go over to the iron. Now there was that one there. That one's a lot bigger. It'll be easier to get. And in the meantime, we'll pick a bunch of stuff. Now, did I pick anything that I can eat? Spice. 
Okay. Oh, I should have eaten the spice last. I gotta consume the other stuff first. Derp a derp. Okay, let's look for more spice then. Oh, this planet doesn't have a lot of food on it, it seems. Huh. That might be a problem if there's no seaweed. Hopefully it's not one of these troll planets like, Here, crash here! You won't get to eat again, but hey! Have fun trying to find food! Okay. Really? Like, I can't even see any berries. Huh. Okay. So, food is going to be a problem. We're going to have to mine that. We're going to have to really mine that, because... It is going down pretty fast. I have it on hard mode, though. It's It will go down pretty fast, or at least it should. Now, I figured I might as well do hard mode, because if I can do it, then that'll be good practice for the next season of Iron Man, which is probably coming up uh, as soon as this goes into release. So I want to practice up, get my skill up with the new system and make sure I'm I'm ready to go. Okay, so let's... Uh, we do have some berries. I'm going to eat these first instead of the spice because the spice, yeah, indigestion, but the spice can cure indigestion. I need one more of those. I'm going to hang on to one so that if I find more berries and stuff. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's do this, and, oh, there's berries right there. Perfect, okay. And I gotta mind how much fuel I got, because I, I wanna make sure that I will be able to make a drill, or not a drill, a uh, chainsaw. Yeah, I'm gonna actually make a chainsaw. Oh my God. I think a chainsaw when you can't find Prometheum nowadays is going to be pretty freaking handy. And I could probably make one right now. I think as soon as I pick up some iron here, I'll be able to make one. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that. Because I think I'm going to need a whole bunch of wood to get, to get uh, biofuel going. Uh, can't wait to get a T2 drill now. Now that I got this drone, it's just, uh, it's... It does make mining easier, because mining was a pain in the freaking ass. And it's not like I'd like games to be Care Bear games, I just, you know, some things I really like. The drone was really cool. Some people were commenting on the forums that they should reduce the um, reduce drones so that you gotta fabricate them and you gotta level up before you can get them and then you know you won't be able to like mine with them right away. You'll only be able to like build with them and then you gotta level them up to be able to mine with them. I I'm not too opposed to that, to tell you the truth. Uh, there, it does sound plausible. Um, now that we can actually, you know, basically make resources out of out of nothing because of getting that survival tool, we can smash rocks without a drill now. So we can actually. We can we can think about doing stuff like that, and it might change our playstyle a little bit. So Alpha Eight might actually change our playstyle. Now, currently, um, I think my box top style vehicles are still going to service me quite well. I'm pretty sure they're still going to break line of sight and still 
allow me to mine while being in the comforts of my ship. Okay. Yeah, how are we doing with the ore here? 48. <laughs> we need a lot more iron than that. Now we can't use up our last biofuel. We we gotta leave it. Although we probably picked up enough fiber to yeah, we picked up enough fiber to, to make more. Not that big of a deal then. Not that big of a deal. Wow, it's almost it's almost night already? Wow, why is time going so fast? That doesn't seem right. Really? Okay. I didn't think I was dawdling. Well, I guess we're going to be grinding away at night here, too. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Force me to use the tent. Do I even... I don't even have a survival tent. I can make one. What do I need? Plant fibers 10. I'll hold off right now. I'll hold off. <coughs> I'd rather use the plant fibers for biofuel. Okay, how are we doing? Oh god, not even a hundred yet. We need we need more. We need lots more. So I know it's kinda of boring mining, watching me mine, but um it's a necessary part of the start to these games to now I think what I'll do is I'll probably not go for too too much let's see one 119, that's 238, so 230, 230 smelted, 230 smelted, need about 150, so leave me 80 for other stuff, uh, okay, that's not bad, let's, let's move on, uh, I need to find copper or more copper rocks. So, village, we gotta head that way, right? That's where the water is. Okay. It's heading west anyway. Oh, whoa! I thought they, um, hmm, they were supposed to fix that so that that didn't happen anymore. Okay, so I'll have to fill in a bug report. Yeah, meteorites aren't supposed to just fall for no reason anymore right off the beginning. <laughs> uh. Oh, copper. Oh, that's a Prometheum meteorite? A pr uh, uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. And copper over there? And copper near the water. Okay, so let's go for this Prometheum meteorite. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, kind of, you, you bugged it out, but I used it anyway, because, you know, it was Prometheum, so. Yeah, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth, I guess. Maybe, maybe it was supposed to, because there's, because I'm in the starting area and there's not enough Prometheum for me. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just uh, go get it. All these, eat some of these berries. I still got a lot of spice on me. Okay. And a couple of these spices. Just to get me, just to keep me closer to full than empty. Because that can cause a really 
horrible snow, snow snowball effect once you start getting hungry. Uh, you start losing stamina, and all of a sudden you can't move. You can't make it to your next meal. <laughs> Look at this big honking freaking thing. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. So, uh, meteorites are ground drill. We're not going to need much of this anyway. Kind of a bonus <laughs> Promethium meteorite just kind of fell in front of us. Here you go. You were asking for Promethium. Sent from the sky. Right from God. And then we'll go collect a bunch of copper. And I should have got more iron. get some of that iron because it's I don't know I don't have a lot of iron I should have got more I don't know why I didn't now that there's promethium here I think I think I can relax a little bit we're doing really good Man, I'd be stoked if this was my Iron Man start. I'd be like, yeah, all four resources. Okay, again, I don't want to use up my last... Oh, wait, I have fiber. Right, right, right. I keep forgetting I got fiber. You know what, while we're drilling this, why, why don't I make the, because I have enough copper, so I should be able to do it. Let's make the um, chainsaw and some more of the biofuel, right? Get a couple of those in. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm wasting time like that. That's silly. <coughs> did we have? 157, that's quite a bit. And I don't really know if we can come back for this, if it's going to disappear. I've had meteorites just kind of vanish on me before. <clears throat> I think they despawn, so... I think I want to get as much of this as possible. I'll fry both I'll fry all my biofuel on it that I have right now, I think. Because I'm making a couple of biofuel that I'll put into the chainsaw and cut down a whole bunch of trees, and then I'll have a ton of biofuel. <coughs> Each log is enough to make two biofuel, so... Oh, this is going good. Wow, we're gonna have we're gonna have a decent supply of resources right off the bat. Food might be the issue though. Food might be a problem. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see once I get out to the water, right? Might not be a problem at all.
Okay, we've almost fried through that whole biofuel on this thing. Once it reloads, we'll take a look to see how much we got from that. Wow, we got a lot from that biofuel <clears throat> charge. These uh, meteorites are much faster to dig than, uh, than the actual deposit. Well, maybe if we dig this down enough, more will just start falling around us. You know, copper and iron and everything else. <laughs> We are getting some experience too. What am I at? Oh, come on. Tab in, tab out to get it back. There we go. Oh, I'm only level two. Wow. It's kind of pathetic, really. Come on. Almost. What are we at? What are we at? 400 and something. Okay, you know what? That's good for now. If, if we need more Promethium, we can go find it, I think. Because <laughs> I think this should be ready. No, not quite. Okay, we'll just keep digging until it is. out of biofuel oh man this promethium is going to keep us fueled for days okay how are we doing here and really Oh, it's almost up. Okay. Okay, let's just grab all this stuff. And we'll put this in here. Put that down there. Okay, so now we'll pick up the survival constructor. Uh, we'll turn our light on because, wow. And then... Um, copper right we need copper but we're also going to need biofuel let's chop down some trees five wood logs that's enough for 10 biofuel just that alone Heading over towards the copper. Now, what do I. No. Come on. I can't find the. I don't know where to. I don't know where to target it. It doesn't seem to be choppable. <clears throat> Whoa, don't jump away on me, I need you. So another four, that'd be another eight. So really I'm, I'm up to, I have enough to make 18 biofuel. Another three, it's another six biofuel. So I'm up to 24 biofuel. And another five is another 10, so I'm up to 34 biofuel. Oh, 
cattle. So if I need more wood logs right now, <clears throat> let's just keep picking stuff. Let's switch to my light. It's much easier. Flashlight works pretty good in this game, actually. Compared to the shoulder light, it's way better. as much food as possible. I'm not really 100% sure if there's lots of seaweed in the lake. There we go, level three. Good, I needed level three. And now that I have it, I'm feeling better. Get that spice. Okay, we're getting closer to the copper. It looks like we're getting close to the water there too, so that's good. Actually, we're doing pretty good on time. We still got 10 minutes of night. Wow, and we've got we've got three out of our four resources now. <clears throat> hmm. For a hard start, I'm I'm off to a to a pretty good start. <laughs> Watch, I'll die instantly now. Something will happen. Oh yeah, everything's spoiling though. Jeez. Do I have food in my suit constructor? Nope. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to eat some of my berries. Let's get some of this down. Another one, come on. And then some more spice to top that up. And once again, okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, we're on the copper deposit. Let's put this down because we should get some biofuel made. Four for now is okay. Okay, so while that's crafting, let's get mining. We still got one and a half biofuel for the drill. So let's just do this. And that is ground. So, sorry to subject you guys to all this drilling, <clears throat> but um, just if I tam time lapse at all, this episode would probably be only about five minutes. So, <laughs> so you're gonna watch it, and you're gonna like it. No, you can. You can obviously do the show at any time. Uh, there we go, copper. Woo! Okay. So not too, too bad. We'll just, uh, we've got 30 already from Smashing Rocks. So we're not going to need a crap ton. Be nice to get a good amount, though. Then I won't have to come back. But obviously, because the drone is working now, we're going to be building um, a better vehicle that can basically... Get us mining uh, in fairly decent safety. Not to say a drone can't shoot us up, but critters, it blocks line of sight on critters, and I can actually be in an environmentally controlled area when I mine. So, um, yeah, now they're really ugly. My designs, the, the core, the vessel core is always really ugly, but I always expand onto that. And it grows as, as my character level grows and the stuff that they can make grows and the materials that I get 
uh, grows, then my vehicles grow along with, with that. So they're kind of organic that way. I like it. it. It's not like I'm spawning in a full-on vessel all the time. I'm just spawning in basically the, the inner room of it. The, the inner fuselage, so to speak. The cockpit area, and that's it, really. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So what are we at? Hmm. I, I, I want to get... I'd like to try and get a hundred of this copper. I can't remember if that's what the original copper texture looked like for Vauxhall mining. Um, trying to think back in Alpha 6 and Alpha 5. I seem to kind of remember it with the green streaky stuff in it, maybe? I don't know. Okay, how are we doing here? 99, one more. Come on. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So, we've got eight minutes left. Uh, let's... Oh. Let's go deal with this iron deposit. What's that over there? Another? Or was that the... Was that the Prometheum that I left? I think that's the Prometheum, right? Yeah. Oh. Um, I just derped and left my constructor over there, didn't I? Yep. <clears throat> okay, so we're going back for our constructor for sure. <laughs> uh, you guys were like, hey, where, where are you going without your constructor? Zelot, 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 you're going to get to the water and regret it. Yeah. Yeah, I would have. Ah, wasting valuable time here, derping. <clears throat> oh, we were actually really close to the water, yeah. Okay, and it's almost done, so we're going to take that, and we're going to grab that, and... Have some spice to eat really quickly here. Come on. Come on. Last one. Oh. <laughs> it's so slow making biofuel. Craft time, like 90, 90 seconds. Wow. Okay. Okay, so now... We'll get a, we'll go get a little bit more iron here. And then we'll head over to the water. And look for a good place to, uh... Um, set up. <clears throat> We're still doing okay on time. Six minutes. I think once we get to the water, it won't be so bad. If creatures start spawning, we'll just swim out. We'll just swim.
because I think they changed that behavior now. They don't. They're not going to crawl under the water and stand on the bottom of the lake waiting for you anymore. <clears throat> that was a little weird when they were doing that. Get this spice. Really got to go out of my way, or I should say, I'm willing. I'm willing to go out of my way for spice. Yeah, that was mushrooms, but whatever. <coughs> okay. There's more spice up here. Let me go grab that really quick. some more in there too. I'm going to need it. Okay. What's our temperature? 18. We still got lots. We can bear minus 10, I believe. So, okay. Let's get this deposit going. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I'll just get, what do I have? I have 114. If I can get another 50 or so iron, that'll, that'll probably, no, actually, you know what? I need like a hundred more iron. Who am I kidding? I don't know why I didn't just dig a couple hundred iron at the at the other deposit. Just kind of seems silly to me now, but you know, that's me. All whacked out on uh, on nasal decongestants and uh, and caffeine, so you know, it is what it is. Dug out a bit more. So I'm curious to see if <clears throat> if only Promethium is the new type of deposit. Um, that they introduced in Alpha 7 because so far that's the only one that I found that uses those nuggets. All the other ones seem to be this, this old school voxel type, which I'm fine with too. You know, it doesn't really, it's neither here nor there. The mining aspect of this game is probably my least favorite part of it. So, you know, it's... It is what it is. It's a, it's a necessary evil to progress in the game. 193, getting there. Just a little bit more. Be nice to have 400 iron ingots. It's going to be ideal if I can pull that off. Okay, that should be enough now. Yep, 209. Okay. Uh, five minutes left. I guess we just race to the water and we pick stuff on the way. So let's do that. <coughs> get as much spice as possible. So let's flip to our light here. Because it's way better than our shoulder light.
You know, it's funny. I think that's the first time I've ever actually made a chainsaw in the game. That might be the first time I've made a chainsaw. <laughs> I uh, I can't remember ever making a chainsaw before. So yeah, okay, I'm getting all turned around here. Where are we? Okay, we're facing the water now. I'll just keep picking this stuff. I don't want to be caught out in the open when it's daylight because that'll be full 24 hours of game time since crash landing and I think that's when stuff starts spawning still I think they still have that timer so that after the first 24 hours of game time stuff starts spawning and like I say I don't want to be stuck out here I don't want to be caught out here without a weapon when that happens. Okay, am I like twisted around again? No. I just don't seem to be getting closer to the water. I guess I, it's because I'm zigzagging so much. Hmm. Yeah, my food is getting low. I don't want to eat too much of my spice but I guess I will got eight that's not too bad okay let's keep going and okay so I'm starting to see some vegetable protein good let's pick that that gives us vegetables. Nice. Well, we've got four minutes. Just Let's just walk along the coast here a little bit. Just a bit. Just to get some of this stuff. if we can find any of the green so the green is a darker green than this grass and once you spot it it's it's actually quite noticeable but <clears throat> it's not really easy to spot at first and it's kind of scarce too so Eh, not sure if I want to go down this end here. Where are we? Let's. Hmm. This looks like a beachy area there. Let's let's head back up. Let's head back up. We'll go along the waterfront here. And what is that? Oh, that's nothing. Let's see if we can find some grain. And no, that's not going to let me pick it. Okay. Some of these things I probably already picked and they have little ghost things in them that don't go away. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Let's get our uh, constructor making some, our, our suit constructor making some energy bars. Don't really have a lot of veggies, but that's okay. Get that started anyway. It's just a rock. Hmm. Come on. <clears throat> Once I find a suitable spot, we'll call it an episode. And then uh, next episode, um, I'll probably have a pad up and going. Oh, there we go. There was some, that was some grain there. Now I should, you can back up the video and take a look at that. 
<laughs> um, I shouldn't have picked it so quick. Sorry. <sighs> yeah. Now, I'm also in first-person view, which makes it a lot harder to see, believe it or not. In third person, see how it pans out? See how it pans out? And you can actually... The grass doesn't get in your way anymore of your vision. Hmm. Is that the... Is that what's jutting out there? Is it that? No, we've already passed it. Okay, so I think... Um... What do we got for vegetables? Well, it should should keep crafting them. God, why does the soup constructor just take so long to initiate? It 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 actually eats up the resource and then sits there for like five minutes before it actually starts building. I <clears throat> I thought they were supposed to address that too. It looked like that was one of the bug fixes, but doesn't look like it. I'm glad about the drone though. I mean all these other bugs are pretty minor, but the drone was the drone was a drag not to have, to tell you the truth. It was a real drag. I love the drone. And especially for constructing. Oh my god. And drilling. I mean Okay. Um, I need to find a good shallow spot. Let's, let's ditch what I'm carrying. I just want to see where the seaweed is. I saw some over here. Oh, it's just too dark. I might have to wait for daylight. Yeah. It's just too dark. I can't see. Can't actually see at all. There's rocks right below me, though. So, I'm, oh, well, it's getting shallow here. It's getting really shallow. Why is it getting shallow here? Oh, my, it's super shallow here. Oh, I'm actually walking. Hey, it's like a little submerged island. Oh, I like it. I think we found our setup spot. In the middle of the lake on this little, oh, perfect. Okay, let's, uh, let's throw down our constructor. We'll get out into some deeper air so that when we start building, it's not in the way. <clears throat> okay, well, let's get all our stuff in here. Um, oh, look at all the buds. I could make a lot of... I can make a lot of stuff with that before it spoils. That in there. That in there. That in there. What can we actually make if I put... Survival constructor should may be able to make more food. Grilled steak. Because I can make plant protein and vegetables. Plant protein and vegetables. Okay, plant protein comes from vegetables. I got two. So I could actually make one meat, which will make one steak, which is good for 104 food. 
that's two plant protein, that's two plant protein, that has a way longer perish time. This adds temperature, okay, you know what, we're going to do that because that's cool. <laughs> and then we're going to make a whole bunch of, I'm going to make like 10, 20, 30 of those for when it starts freezing out. Um, actually, we're not going to make that much right now. What am I thinking? I got to get the base starter going. The base starter. <clears throat> and then, how much stone do we got? Not much. Crap. Wow, I didn't pick up much stone at all. Well, that's okay. That should be enough. We'll make, um, see if we can get 100 blocks out of that. Should be able to get like 60. <clears throat> okay, well, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it off here. I think we've got a pretty good spot here. And yeah, kind of in the middle of the lake. There's a little bit of a raised up area. It doesn't quite make the surface, but you know what? It's good enough to set up and I can stand here without um, consuming oxygen from my suit. So right on, right on. Well, guys, if you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to see when the next episode is published, make sure that you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. So until then, guys, you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day.